It's time. Oh yeah, it's time. What time is it? It's time, baby. It's time for another Derek the Gator episode. Welcome back to the channel. How you doing? I hope you had a good week. Hope you had an even better weekend. Um, we, we took it real easy this weekend. Uh, it was a crazy week last week, but hey, we're, we're still kicking. Everything's fine. I hope, hope it's the same for you. Welcome back to the channel. Um, hey, to all my subscribers, thank you. And if you're watching these videos, thank you also. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like what I'm doing. And uh, welcome to the Gators Den. Uh, let's see. So this episode, well, in my previous episode, I uh, did my very first does it work? Does it still work? episode where I tested out one of my old retro consoles that is, you know, in my closet. It was my Neo Geo AES console. It still worked. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I will be doing more episodes like that in the future. But uh, this is a retro channel, y'all. This is a retro gaming channel. I'm also an unboxing channel. I haven't been having much to unbox lately, but hopefully that'll change after I get sold in, um, you know, with moving and things like that. But uh, today, I want to do something different. I want to do something a little fun. So, here's what I have for you. Imagine this. Here's a scenario for you. You, you are being sent to a deserted island, okay? You have shelter. You have food. You have electricity. You have a television set. And you have a Nintendo Entertainment System. All right? That's the 8-bit Nintendo from back in the day. You are going to stay on this deserted island for one week. So you're allowed to bring five NES games with you to keep yourself entertained. What would those five games be? Please, do me a favor. Down in the comments, let me know what games you would bring. Now, this episode, I'm going to show you what five games I would bring. I would like to call it my Essential Five. Five, five, five. Just pretend there was an echo, okay? All right. <laughs> so these are my five NES games I would bring with me to keep myself entertained if I was on a deserted island. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to have some fun. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun too. But like I said, man, down in the comments, let me know what five games would you bring for yourself. Well, uh, without further ado, if you're ready, so am I. Let's get started. Okay, now I want to uh, get this out of the way. Um, I am not using my 8-bit Nintendo for this video because, to be honest with you, I am too lazy to go into my closet and dig it out <laughs> so instead for this video i will be using my retron 5 now this console if you doesn't know if you don't know excuse me um it's kind of frowned upon the retro gaming community because it doesn't play cartridges from the cartridge it, it, it you plug in your cartridge it dumps the rom and it, and it plays the games that way so you know it's kind of frowned upon but i've been rocking with this thing for about five years plus and they haven't failed me yet. I like it. And um, it plays Sega Genesis games, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Famicom games, um, Game Boy Advance, regular Game Boy games, all out of one box. So, hey, I don't have a problem with the Retron, man. I've been having this for a while. And I'm going to keep rocking it. Oh, yeah, man. Now this isn't a top five, okay? This is just top, this is just five games that I would bring with me that I would need to keep myself entertained because I love them so much. Let's start this thing off right. We got the Cape, we got the Cape Crusader in the house tonight. Here's Batman for the NES. This game was so amazing. Oh, look how badass that is. We got the cutscenes. Now this is a game from the uh Michael Keaton Batman movie. 
way back. Sunsoft did that thing with this game, man. You cannot deny this game is great. Man, look at all the weapons you have, too. Like, batarangs, this pit rocket launching pistol, these throwing stars. Awesome movie. Awesome game. Little boss fight here. Haven't played this in a long time, so, uh, yeah, I know I'm going to look pretty bad at it. Come on, get some, little dog. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you get my drift, man. This game was great. If you never played it, make sure you do. Batman for the NES. Listen to that music. Here we go. Here's another game I will bring with me. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. This game is just amazing. From the music to the graphics, everything. Double Dragon 1 is great, don't get me wrong. But this one's just so much fun. And y'all know I love my beat-em-ups. <laughs> Ooh, just messing them up. Nasty. Oh, my fault. Oh, hey, ladies, how you doing? Yeah, y'all can get it too. Sorry. Look at that back kick. And the real and what was really funny, well, this is from my childhood. I never played the arcade version of this game. It was just never in any of the arcades I grew up in. I always thought it was a, just a Nintendo game. I never knew it was an arcade game. Give y'all a little boss fight action. Oh, right to the gut. There you go. I <laughs> like how he vanishes. The, the, just the sound and everything, the sound effects, all that stuff, everything was just, just well done. You can also play this game, I believe, uh, if you have a Nintendo Switch, it's part of the uh, Nintendo Switch Online games. So go check it out there. Hey, y'all remember this? Chip and Dale's Rescue Ranger. Capcom and Nintendo had an amazing relationship back in the day, didn't they? All those Disney Capcom games, I don't think there were any bad ones. <laughs> Look at the sweat coming off of him every time he picks up something heavy. <laughs> Played this game religiously when I was a kid. And it's not too difficult. It's one of the games, it's probably one of the first games I actually finished when I was a kid. You know, one of those proud child moments you have, you know, when you finish a game all by yourself. Yeah, I believe this is the first game, well, besides Mario Brothers, of course, that I finished on my own. Let's continue to ride that Capcom Disney train. DuckTales. Come on, you know you love it. 
And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. I'm about to show you the main reason why I love this game so much. No, let me rephrase that. I'm going to let you listen. Listen to that. The moon theme from DuckTales. So iconic. Some of the best chiptune music you ever heard when you was a kid. I get a little emotional listening to this song. Oh man, that just sounds so beautiful, doesn't it? The graphics are amazing. The levels are well done, well made. It's not too difficult. It's for a kid to enjoy. And let's be real, adults enjoy it too. DuckTales for the NES. Great game. An amazing game. Hey, you know I gotta bring in the Ninja Turtles, right? This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Now, you may not have played this game back in the day because most people had moved on to the Super Nintendo. I did, so I missed this game when it uh, became available for the NES. But let me tell you, if you loved Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES, this game, they just built on top of that and just made it even more awesome. Look at those sprites. Everything's nice and colorful. The turtles, each turtle has their own special move. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look at those animations. The Foot Clan is throwing sand in his eyes. Isn't that great? Little details like that. Oh, man. Go with Raphael. The boss fights are like so dramatic. Look at that special move Raphael has. A little screw attack there. <laughs> This game is so Nintendo, right? Got him. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. So, there you have it. That's my essential five games that I have to bring with me on a deserted island. Um, I had fun with this video. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Notification bell too because I upload videos every week. I'll see you next time. Hey, to all my subscribers. And even if you're just watching this video, all, any of my videos, thanks for the love, man. It means a lot. Catch you later. Peace.